What's up guys, Court Order here. If you didn't see the last few videos, we've been detecting this incredible 1720s colonial period house. And without going into all the things we found, our pouches have been overflowing with early American coins, super rare artifacts, and all sorts of time period relics, exactly the type of things we like to look for. But with all the times there, one guy from the group has not yet sunk in his claws into this dirt, and he's been dying to get out there. So this week, the finale of this incredible place, and this one guy from the group not only gets an amazing silver spill, scratches a bucket lister off his all-time list, but he leaves there absolutely rich. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video, the finale of The House That Time Forgot, and I will see you at the end. Later. Uh, Rich has something pretty good. I was a good half a football fielder more away, but I heard him screaming. Well, I heard Lynn screaming. Oh. So it must be something pretty good. Well, well, we don't know what it is so yet. Far. It's oh, green. it's a mystery. It's green. Oh, oh, Rich, that's a half cent size. I, yeah, I, I want to, I think it's a button. It though. could be a button. It's very thin though. Really thin, isn't it? I just don't, I don't see anything. I see. Oh, and there's gold. It must have been a button, but it does look like a coin. Well, I'll tell you what, I dug not far from here what I called dug over and said was a button. And then after I brushed it, it turned out to be a drape bust half cent. So even though I do see what looks like gilt there, it could be brass coming through. You might want to brush it and I'll get the flashlight and we'll check because I almost got fooled too. Yeah, It's really thin. Let's brush it and okay. see what you got, Rich. But I think it's going to be something interesting. Now well, there's Rich's piece and we're really struggling to make out anything on it. In the center, there is some sort of a depression, or I even thought it could have been a crown or a crest. We're not sure. Rich is leaning towards it. This is, was maybe the back, and there was a shank in the middle. Yeah. But I can't tell, and I do see what looks like there could be, and could have been writing. And it, that circle that you often see. Yeah, there's like a circle going around. So, uh, it's a tough one. It almost looks like a diamond in the middle from this angle. And nothing on the other side at all, so. Yeah, I didn't see anything, and I, I was leaning really towards button. rotating it, trying but. to catch it in, in the sun. It just feels more substantial than a button, but it's pretty toasty, whatever yeah. it is. It's old, though. Oh, yeah, definitely <laughs> old. I'm going to get my super glasses from the car which are like a super heavy duty magnification. Maybe I'll see more, but your eyes are super magnified as it is. <laughs> well, hey, good find. Thank you. Charlie actually said he got something. something uh, and I see his hole over there. <laughs> let's go walk over. He said it was pretty. I feel good about it. All right, let's go oh. see. If he feels good, I feel yeah. good. Really All right, let's yeah. see. Let's well, take a look at what Charlie's got. Uh, That's oh. pretty. He means pretty in the for us, it would be pretty because it's, it's a pretty sight. Oh, it's a pretty yeah. sight. But not it's not pretty. like a silver brooch or anything. Like Let me see. Oh. This is better. Is that a circle I see there? Yep. On its edge? Yep. That looks thick. Oh, Charlie. Isn't that pretty color? I can, yeah. You can't see it though, right? Jake? No, but I can see a see big it. circle in my uh, hand. It's green. Really I predicted big. four coppers today. This might be the first of the day. Would you like to do the honors yeah, and pop it out of this clump? Somewhere. Huh. Well, even, let's see. You, you might want to knock the thick dirt off even before you brush it. Let's see. It's definitely a copper. No doubt about it. Yep. That's a big lump here. Sometimes. Who doesn't, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> Corrosion. Oh, wow. Huh. That's different. I found a KG3 not far from here, and it had that same weird color. It almost looked like it was lead, and that's What's what that yours guy? looks like to me. Yeah, look how lumpy it is there, right there. Yeah. It might just be a corrosion lump. All right, let's give it a nice solid brush yeah. down, Charlie, because yeah. I, I don't I'm... see anything yet, but I'll guarantee we're going to figure out what this thing is. Okay. It's got some meat on the bones. Now well, there's Charlie's copper. It's a shame. Charlie's gotten two coppers out of this yard, but both have been unidentifiable and we've been staring at it and trying to brush it and shine the light all over it 
it's got these corrosion lumps on it that you can see. We are in the floodplain, so a lot of water sits on these coins for hundreds of years. The back side has that thick crust on there that's not coming off. And same thing, we've been slowly rotating it, trying to have the light shine on it. Where's the light? There's the light. Sometimes the light will pick things up. Looking for shadows, looking for anything. Can't make out what you got again, Charlie. Yeah. I'm sorry, you got two slick <laughs> coppers. Right. I mean, it's got to be really old. 200 yeah. plus years, probably right. yeah, maybe 300 right. years old. Just can't ID it in the field at the moment. Right. So maybe you can work some magic at home in your tumbler or, you know, yeah. put it in some light lemon juice right. or something. Okay. Who knows? Maybe you'll get something. But at the moment. Right. Maybe after it dries, maybe I can get to see something. You just got a I super old know. circle, Charlie. But hey, congratulations, man. Oldest find of the day yeah. so far. Thank well you. done. Good job. All right, Rich is doing this side yard that we had a lot of success on. I mean, we're all over here, really, finding good stuff. So many signals in this yard. Probably been through here 18 hours, but everything is deep. Oh, I see a crotal bell in his hand. <laughs> I told Rich, I said, around these steps is where Doug got seven crotal bells. But There's actually, probably more. It, it was really deep. The, and, everything is deep here, Rich. And I believe it's a Tomback sleigh bell. They all, they all, oh, a sleigh bell. Not exactly a crotal bell. Oh, uh, well, I could feel iron on there. But I thought I saw petals. But see how shiny? Oh, no. no, there's no petals. Oh, no, no, there's no. Rings. any petals. Oh, rings. There's rings around Oh, it. but that's early. But yeah. it looks like Tomback. Yeah, and it's, yeah. I don't know if it's Tomback because it's, maybe. A sleigh bell or crotal bell, guys? No, this one's a sleigh bell. Look, oh, there's cool. no petals. It looks like pewter. But I think it's, it's, it's very shiny, yeah. yeah. Well, it's not new. It's probably still before the Civil War. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what material it is. And it's odd that, it, that the whole hole is rusted shut. I mean, even if the iron ball was in there, it really spread the entire opening. Uh, around like a penny. Doug's and mine were all Tomback ones really with deep. the pedals and everything. It's odd. Yeah. Rich found one that's yeah, in the same area. It's because I wanted one with the pedals. So that's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, true. There you go. Well, hey, I'm t there's going to be more, Rich, too. Yeah. I'm telling you, the whole strap is probably around here, which yeah. would have been like 20 of them. And we found about nine or 10 so far. But, this is different. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice find. Uh, Charlie's got something in his hand. Is that an organ reed or whatever? Yeah, it's yeah. a squeeze box. Okay. Part of a squeeze box. <laughs> 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 there's lines on it, like around. They're, they're spun lines. Yeah, they're cool. I bet yeah. the dinger's still in there, Rich. Probably. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be so tough to get that one out, yeah. though. But Well, well done. There's I'm going to be more, though. Rich. Yeah. There's yeah. going to be all, and there's going to be buttons around here. Yeah. I'm working over where we found the tokens. I already found one. It just was not an exciting one. Okay. But there's going to be a lot more stuff all day long. All right, Lynn, this is, uh, th this was pretty fascinating. Rich, Rich has really good eyes. The best eyes of anyone I've dug with before. So he's digging this hole and he pulls out this rock <laughs> and he says, there's a little bit of green on the rock, which I don't even see. Where's the green on the rock? Right there. Oh, it is right there. He says, there's a little bit of green yeah. on the rock. There's probably a button in the hole. <laughs> I'm like, what is he smoking? He digs down two inches and a button comes out. How the heck did he know that from the little bit of green, which I can't even see. It's the exact color green. Yeah, look, at the, look at the color green. He gets a oh, big button. Oh, it's a tomback. Look at that. Look at the but shine. it's so green. Oh it's got God, a nice a concaveness to it. Is it tomback, Rich? Uh, Wouldn't be green, though, would it? It yeah. is. Is it tomback? Yeah. yeah, when you wipe through the green. The way it broke, it, it looks like tomback. Because like brass green. wouldn't break like that. Right and look, the shank is Oh, the shank is nice. Classic tomback shank. Yep. Yeah. What was in the hole before that? A rock. Oh, a rock. yeah. So it had green on. I see a little bit of green yeah, on the yeah, rock I see that, here. Yeah. So he I said there's a button in the hole. He pulled the and rock out, Charlie, and said there's green on the rock. There's going to be a button in the hole. Oh, and I'm like, you're, you're nuts, you weirdo. And then, he, <laughs> and then he pulled the button out of the hole. I'm never questioning him again. <laughs> yep, it's a nice time back button. I don't think Rich yeah. broke it. It looks like it's, uh, it's discolored Richard, in there. Uh, Nixon. Not no, this time. Old break. Not this time. But it is a time back colonial period. And then I was hoping there may have been an etching on the front, but it's got a little layer of like crust on it from being in the uh wow. this floodplain that's a great one man congratulations yeah, i, I said yeah. there's going to be a boatload of buttons here with your name on them <laughs> i think different people had different recipes <laughs> for like alloys for tom bag right. for oh i'm day, sure that. well done it's going to be a magical day on the <laughs> same area that we've already had two magical days charlie <laughs> awesome job rich thanks 
All right, Rich and I had a pretty unique double. Uh, he was digging his hole right there. I was digging my hole kind of over here behind me. We both had a high tone and we were both disappointed, but check out how interesting this is. Here's Rich's fine and it's a shotgun head stamp, which we find all the time. Nothing unique about it. It's about the size of a nickel. Normally they don't come up a high tone or a mid tone, but whatever, this one was a high tone. And what I found was, go ahead, Lynn. I found that, which is also some sort of a shell casing, but it's enormous. It would have taken down like an elephant. I don't know what the heck would have shot this enormous shell, but I've never seen anything like it like in someone's yard before. <laughs> the only thing I think of is what Charlie was saying is maybe it was filled with like little balls and they would spray out if you were like shooting at like ducks overhead or something. But the barrel of your gun, you, you, like you'd be able cannon. to shoot golf balls out of it. You know what I mean? Like, what the heck is that? It's like a bazooka. So the first time I ever found an ammunition piece that big and at the same time, Rich found a high tone shotgun slug. So <laughs> pretty interesting. There you go. Thank you. Quarter. It's not a modern quarter? Not a modern quarter. All right, Rich just had a good 47 what? signal here. It was hard to track down. It was scratchy and fairly deep. What, uh, what have I been finding a lot of lately that you think is weird? Another half cent? <laughs> you think it's another half cent? I think it, I think it probably is, yeah. Let me see. This plug is everywhere, so let me see. Well, that's definitely half cent size. And I don't think it's a button. It looks small for a quarter and large for a nickel. So right off the bat, I'm going to agree. Half cent, if not a farthing. Draped bus. Is it real? I found a draped bus half cent last time we were here. Do you have one of those? Yeah. 1800 to 1808, I believe, was the draped bus half cent. Yep. Different years than the Back. large cent. Wait. I see an 80. What? Uh, well, then it's not a draped bus or but you're seeing it incorrectly. Let me see. It looks like a draped bus. Hold this light sideways it for me. It does look like a draped bus. But Let me make sure it's not a Liberty Cap. No, definitely a drape bus. But Sorry. don't you see the 80? Well, it could be 18 0 something. So you're seeing eight, the middle. Yeah, you're seeing the oh. second eight. Because they went from 1800 to 1808. So 18 it's 18 0 something. So, well, we knew it was 18 0 because Mary yeah. just said the years. And they were <laughs> <laughs> Every one of them starts with 18. So it's the last digit that we need. And there was a lot of variations on these. And every drape bus half cent were very low minted. They're all hard to find. The back, look at the condition on the back, Rich. Yeah, it looks looks good. It looks oh, fabulous. Wow. All right, we're going to try to brush it and get that last key digit and see what Rich has here. He's been an absolute tear with the half cent. <laughs> I think the last three trips, maybe four trips, he's gotten an old half cent, which is just <laughs> insane. Let's get that last number, Rich. Well, there's Rich's coin. Definitely a drape bust half cent. And he's right, the last digit is tough. 18 0 clear as day. We think we see a four, or at least a piece of the four. It's kind of under that corrosion. So we're gonna go with 1804. I don't know the minage on the 1804 offhand, but all the drape bus half cents are tough to find. The back on this thing is really nice. Look at that, Lynn. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean you can see all the detail. I'm trying yep. to get it in the light still. United States of America, huge wreath, half cent in oh, the center. Yeah. That's beautiful. The whole kit and caboodle on there. I actually found a drape bus half cent, like I said, at this place the last time. And Rich can't not find a, dra <laughs> a, a half cent lately. So I don't know what it is, but he's just really locked in the on point. these old half cents. That's awesome. Great find, Rich. That's in beautiful shape, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. I think it's snapping turtle. I'm not sure, but I don't know. If yeah, it's, it's an alligator snapping turtle. <laughs> yeah, I just ran over this signal, Rich, and it came up really low. Look how cute it is. Yeah, I think it's a little snapping turtle. I've, I've heard that the, the alligator snappers ring up low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See how the mud's well, all dry? It's super dry. Yeah. Do you have any water we could spray for him, Rich? Uh, Got a bottle of it. Well. Or, wait a minute. Oh, do you have something there? Should we take him down to the creek? Where is the creek? Well, uh, the ground slopes, continues down that way, yeah. so I was just... He looks really dry. 
Yeah, he needs to find the creek. A bird could have even dropped it. Yeah. You thought you saw the creek, Charlie? Yeah. I'm gonna try to rescue him. Did he, did he actually move? Or? Yeah, his whole head came out. Oh. He, he might be able to hurt you still, even at that size, I'm not sure. Yeah, just don't. Not like break the skin, but definitely pinch. Don't stick your finger in his mouth. Oh, thanks, Lynn. <laughs> All right, Riches, we're gonna see if there's a creek and we're gonna... Rescue him. Yeah, rescue him. Wow, tiny little one, I almost stepped on him. Wow, I can't even believe you saw him. I don't know, I just saw, it looked like a weird a walnut shell. And I was like, what the heck is that? Oh, he's just so cute. Look, he's on the move, Lynn. He is. He's on the move. Mm -hmm. I mean, not real fast, but. Who wants to take him over there? Well, or I vote, I? I vote you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on, buddy. He will thank you. Good job, Rich. <laughs> Lynn, Charlie had a really good idea. You know that uh, toasty, corroded copper he found this morning? Right. When I said to him, uh, when you get home, put it in a tumbler, he said, well, what if I put it in my pocket with a bunch of change and walked around all day? And I thought, well, that's kind of genius, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. So I gave him whatever change was in my pocket. He had change in his pocket all day, walked around. And wouldn't you know it, Lynn, we can ID it now. That's the guy's awesome. a genius. That's why he was a teacher. Yeah, that's why he's a teacher. That's right. So look, now it doesn't look great by any means. Let's see if I can get it just right. Right there, Lynn. In the center, I can clearly see one, and then I can see C E N, and the T would be under the blob. Now, British coins don't say one cent. It's got to be a U.S. coin, yep. so we know Maybe. it's got to be 1790s to 1850s. Now, is it down to like Classic five painting. coins, yeah. maybe six coins? And then when I flipped it over, now that I know what I'm looking <laughs> for, right there, the neckline of a braided hair large cent is what he's got. So this is bad, Charlie. You'll never be able to put this in a gumball machine ever again. <laughs> the coin star will reject it forever. But you got an anyway, 1830s, awesome. 1840s hour large cent. We were able to ID it, yep. which is fabulous. And you it had the is. great idea of all of the loose pocket change. And as a special bonus gift, Charlie, <laughs> you can keep the five cents I gave you okay, and well, spend it on whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> well, nice he was a find. human a human tumbler yeah, all day that's right all day all you had to do was walk around <laughs> all right lynn we might be looking at a bucket lister for rich rich you know will dig every single signal and it really pays off for him now well, rich, it's a 52 so well yeah. to uncovered a 52. <laughs> yeah. rich is saying possible silver half which he's never found yep oh. i found i've had new halves but never Let's see if it is a silver half, and if so, what year it could year. be. Can Under this cross? big giant tree, I mean, heck, it could be anything, He's Rich. It's gonna hang from like a monkey. Oh, it's definitely a big giant circle, and it looks silvery. Oh, Rich, you're gonna get one. You're gonna get one. Oh. Is it a walker? Yeah. It's a walker. <gasps> Your very first one, Yay! congratulations. You. Now we gotta get a year off of it, Lynn. 47. 47. Aww. Do you want to spray it on the camera, Rich, yes. so we can get a nice... Here, you dumped your water out for that turtle. I did. Here, I'll hold it. And that I'm turtle will thank me like later. This. Look at that. After... How long has it been? You've been digging with us now. Two years? Two years. Two yeah, years. Two almost years. every single weekend, Lynn. <laughs> at a different house that seems to get older and older every single week. And watching... You know, Matt digs a half every like once a month. Oh yeah, I've gotten <laughs> two this year alone, which is rare for me. Doug, Doug wanted our Doug's house. Doug's got one at your house, <laughs> right in front house. of him. Nineteen forty-seven, Walking Liberty half dollar. And they're always beautiful. Let's clean it all up. We're gonna mint mark, and I'm gonna get a picture of Rich holding it and send it to Doug, who is gonna cry <laughs> that he missed Rich see it. Congratulations, man. Thank Aww. you. Let's see what he's got on this sucker. Well, there's Rich's half dollar right up against the tree that he found it under. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning, Rich. 1947, silver half, your first one ever. I seen you dig one or two clad Kennedys. Yep. And he tried to put a smile on Lynn, but I knew he was disappointed. <laughs> and it They looked like coppers at first, so I was... <laughs> it really pays off, though, when you finally cross monkeys off your back. I can't believe Doug and Charlie were here. They both had to leave. Oh, they missed so they missed Rich's excitement. No mint mark, I don't see. So it looks like you got a Philadelphia right outside <laughs> where you found it. The stars are aligning, Rich. Congratulations. 
I know you got another signal you want to dig, but we're going to have to step over and get a photo because these are the memories that all last forever. It's a big moment. It's a big moment. Excellent job, man. Lynn, the excitement is still buzzing of Rich's silver half dollar. He told me he had another tone next to it. And I said, well, let's not mention it because if it turns out to be a dud, then it looks silly that we said it's another tone and I never showed it. But he dug that other tone. He's got another silver coin, Lynn. Wow. Not quite as big as the half dollar, oh. but he's got your, uh, a silver dime. So let me see. Right this here. is right here is where the half came from. Yeah. Right here is where the dime came from. And, and so there was people. I would say it's close to a spill. Yeah, because it could have been one hole. And the tree just yeah. moved it. All right, Rich, you want to spray it in my hand? I'm going to look and see if it's a 1916. 16 is. See. Rich, can you see the date from your angle? Uh, 42. Four, okay, they're both in the uh. 40s. <laughs> That's why they're both in good shape. I think they're probably both dropped. Not. For, oh my goodness, my whole <laughs> hand went down like he threw a brick in there. That's fantastic. And was there another signal when I walked up? I thought I heard the pin. It was a nail. Oh, okay. But there could be. I'm, I'm going to check real good. Oh, it. man. I, the guys were through here, Charlie and Doug today. I don't want to tell them. Like one hole or two. I don't want to tell them they missed it because they're going to cry. <laughs> but, uh, hey, if, if they would have rather if you found that half than them, too, I'm sure. That's true. They found them before. Yeah, they would have been happy for you. Well, that's incredible, man. Right under this enormous tree that just seems to be everywhere. But it's fantastic. Like, it's like a big octopus. <laughs> Way to go. Thank you. Rich, who is ducking under this giant branch that I've showed before, found the silver half dollar, silver dime. He right just here, swung right over here. it again and listened to this, which is right under this big, thick root. That's going to maybe be another half. It's almost right under the middle. This root is thick, Rich. I mean, that's my foot. Now, I got a big, manly sized foot. <laughs> Let's so see. You, so you say. I've, I don't know if I've ever seen a silver half dollar spill, Lynn, of multiple silver halves, <laughs> if that's what he's got here. It's he, under the root. He's he, going to have, it might take a little while to get to it. Yeah, he's also oh, nope, he's on it. Oh, he's out. He's on it. He's on it. Oh, can you imagine if he gets two silver or halves? Or a silver anything. Mm -hmm. Well... He's touching it deep down there, right down the deepest part. Uh, I need to pop. I'm going to stay gonna live go, with it, Lynn, only because, yeah. because I've never seen a silver spill. And if it is, and you know, if anybody's going to hit it, <laughs> he's in an awkward spot there. No, but I think it's still deeper. Yeah, that, you, you're, the roots out yeah you're going to have to fight through it. That's for sure. Jeez. Yep said you've got some work to do yeah that's where you got to go right in there do you want to use my little one rich yeah it's got a leaf here yeah leaf. i think you'll be able to get it with that without hopefully hitting it oh, you might have loosened it there my God. Brought him is there a silver half in there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. yeah, I think there is. It's oh, it's a silver oh. quarter. Still though, oh. holy cow. It's a Washington. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that's insane. A 56. silver dime, half, and a quarter all in the same spill. Wow. That's every denomination of silver coin. <laughs> We might just want to cut this tree down, Lynn. Yeah, really. That's because, I mean, holy cow. I thought it was already over. <laughs> Darn. It looked like for a second it may have been another oh, silver season. half. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. That He's having a heck of a day. Most of the guys left already. It's just us. And they are missing all the silver. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to have to keep rechecking this. This tree is so big and these branches are so odd and... I can see kids swinging and playing on oh, this tree. this is a great tree. Hundreds climbing. of, you know. You know, I, I actually had a theory uh, that there was a swing here. And now it's kind of making sense. 
Well, Maybe. that's amazing, Rich. I'm going to stay in the area and just watch and see if you get over another one. But three so far. Unbelievable. Don't you want to? Well, we're getting ready to leave. It's going to start raining soon. Walked back to the car where we parked every trip out here. Yeah. Only since Doug and Charlie left, it's only my vehicle. So where we parked the last two times are open. Rich is swinging through it and he gets a high tone right under where Charlie was parked. <laughs> And he popped a copper out. Oh, is that a is that a button or a coin? It almost looks like. Oh no, I guess it was the way the dirt was on there. Yeah, it's a coin. Oh, I see detail already. Mm. I see detail <laughs> on it. I might be too bright. Hmm. Maybe I don't see detail. On it. <laughs> All right, let's brush it down and then we're going to hope for detail on it. That's amazing. Probably parked on it for three days in a row. <laughs> All right, there's Rich's find. And it's actually kind of funny. I see what looks like a triangle up at the very top, taking up the whole middle, that I thought was like a Santa head, like a giant elf. And I was like, what is that? And then it <laughs> dawned on me that if I turned it over... It's a shield. It's a New Jersey State copper. Yay, awesome. And we all started freaking out. <laughs> I can see the big giant shield. It would say, what is it, Lynn? Nova uh, Cesare? Cesare or Whatever the Latin like is. Yeah, for Jersey. But I can see some of the detail. It's rough, but it's on there. And when I flip it over, I can see some of the plow down there at like 7 o'clock. I can see a little bit of the horse's head. A little writing. A little bit of the writing and some dentals coming through. Very faint. But that's incredible. Uh, These were 1786, 87, somewhere in that time frame. And absolutely incredible state copper that Charlie's been parked on <laughs> for three trips here now. Oh my God. Go figure. You got to call. Always move your car, I guess, is the, uh, is the theme. Well, that's incredible, Rich. Congratulations. Awesome colonial <laughs> coin Thank to you. continue on a pretty remarkable nice day. finale. Well done, sir. Man, what a cool old house this was. After five videos now, 30 some hours of us all detecting that yard, Rich finally gets his shot to get his claws into that earth and man, he really made it count. Now, I certainly don't wanna disregard Charlie's early large scent that he acted as a human tumbler all day long and we were finally able to detail it at the end of the day. But this hunt was all Rich from start to finish and he really made the most of it. Early on, he gets that slick copper slash button. We're still not really sure what that was. And he transitions that right into a colonial tomback button with the crescent moon shape bitten right out of the side. Then he pulls that drape bust half cent. It's gotta be his fourth half cent in as many weeks. But then the show stopping silver spill under the big tree, silver mercury dime, silver Washington quarter, and his first ever silver half dollar, the 1947 Walker. Rich has come a long way from when Doug and I first started hunting with him, and this just goes to show you no house has ever hunted out. And of course, if you guys want to get into the hobby and you need some equipment, you can always shoot me an email, quarterhoarder, yahoo.com. Just let me know where you live and what your budget is and what kind of terrain you plan on swinging over. I'll help you pick out the best machine for your budget so you can get out and find some of the incredible things like we do every single week. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. It's a hobby of champions. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting, and I will see you on the next one. Later.